What is up, freaks? It's your boy Matt O'Dell for the second installment of the TFTC video guide series on all things Bitcoin. In this installment, we will be covering the Lightning Network. Specifically, we will be covering the Lightning Network for beginners. If you've been listening to the podcast, you're well aware that we love the Lightning Network over at Tales from the Crypt. And the way that we've learned so much about it is by getting our hands dirty ourselves. We run multiple nodes, we route payments, we send payments, we receive payments. That's how you learn. In my opinion, that's the best way to learn. Get your hands dirty. That said, the Lightning Network is still very new. I didn't run my own full node, full Lightning node, until January of this year. You know, the network as a whole hasn't been on mainnet for for it's been under two years now at this point. So it's still very new. We're coming a long way quickly. We will, it'll get even easier. But right now we have this Breeze wallet. It's available on Android and iPhone. I think this is the best wallet for beginners in terms of receiving and sending lightning payments pretty quickly, very quickly in terms of setup process. So lightning network, if you're not aware is a, is a second layer solution that's built on top of Bitcoin that allows you to send Bitcoin payments, small Bitcoin payments, uh, fast and relatively cheaply compared to a traditional Bitcoin transaction. And the beauty of being an additional layer is that we can develop the Lightning Network without affecting the underlying protocol, which is very important to keep it as censorship resistant and distributed as possible. A lot of the criticisms we've heard of the Lightning Network so far appear to be coming from people that have never used it. But to be fair, some have, and the main criticisms have been that for a beginner, they think it's going to be too difficult, uh, too convoluted for them to ever use it in a secure fashion. Breeze changes that. Every wallet has trade-offs, but Breeze's chosen trade-offs are a nice balance, especially where we are with the Lightning Network today, between security and convenience. It runs a full lightning node on your phone with a light Bitcoin node that uses neutrino filters, which is the currently is currently the most private way that you can use a light node. It's worth noting that, of course, you'd be better off using a full node, but that's not necessarily convenient for for the average person, especially one who just wants to use their mobile phone. So in this installment, we're going to be covering getting onboarded onto lightning with just your mobile phone, no computer necessary, and it should take less than 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes less than 10 minutes. It's, it's really just how long a Bitcoin confirmation takes, and those average around 10 minutes. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's, it's shorter. So let's breeze. So they're warning you that breeze is in beta. That's very responsible of them since it is in beta. It also should be noted once again that you shouldn't be keeping many, much funds on a mobile wallet. You also shouldn't be keeping much funds on Lightning because Lightning is a hot wallet, so it's connected to the internet. Lightning is for small payments that you don't want to pay high fees for that you need to send them quickly. Things like in-person transactions, things like microtransactions online. Continue. Okay, now Breeze is syncing with the network. This process will take the longest the first time you set it up, but there is a, a quick sync every time you open the app uh, that'll be much shorter than this. So let's just wait for it to sync. And note the time on the top, 1619. That's the time we started. Uh, that's going to be pretty important in terms of just showing you how quick this goes, because we're going to be recording this in one shot. Depending on how long the Bitcoin confirmation happens, I might fast forward a little bit in between, but it will be one continuous uh, recording. Okay, now it's finishing the sync, even though it says sync's done, it's bootstrapping, which is essentially the same thing. Okay, we're good to go. Now we have to add funds. So we click add funds. They're going to show us a Bitcoin address, BC1, Q8. Oh, they want us to back up. The backup is a very simple process. It uses your cloud provider of choice. If it's on iPhone, it'll use iCloud. 
If it's on Android, it'll use Google Drive. Of course, this is a cloud backup, so it's only as secure as your account is. You should have these accounts locked down pretty well, but once again, you know, this is a trade-off between convenience and security. Literally, all you have to do is click backup now and log in with your cloud provider. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna show you my login, but that's all you have to do is click backup now. Okay, so we have our Bitcoin address. Take note of it, copy it, deposit address copied. Now, in the Bitcoin wallet of your choice, uh, or service of your choice, you can send Bitcoin into that wallet. I'm gonna use Cash App, disclosure, they are a sponsor. I just wanna show how simple it is uh, to onboard onto Lightning. You know, Cash App is the number one app, finance app on the App Store. So most people already have it installed on their phone. So in that situation, they're, they're only installing one more app, which is Breeze, and they're able to get onto Lightning very quickly. So you want to double check that address real quick, and then they're going to make you double check it, even though I'm just clicking paste, so that really doesn't do much. I'm going to confirm, and then I'm going to put my fingerprint in to approve it. And now we're going to go back into Breeze. And keep in mind, Cash App is US only. So, you know, if you're somewhere else, you can just use whatever service is your is your favorite service to use. Uh, you know, ideally, because these services use KYC, you should mix your funds before you send them into your Lightning wallet. Uh, I just wanted to distill it down to the simplest possible process here for, for a beginner. You know, someone, someone who is kind of use Bitcoin, you know, doesn't really know exactly what they're doing, but, but wants to try Lightning, wants to play around with Lightning, wants to do it as quick as possible. So now we're waiting. So you see down here, Breeze is waiting for 500,000 SAT to be confirmed. We're waiting for it to be confirmed on the Bitcoin network. As soon as it's confirmed, Breeze will onboard us onto Lightning without the user having to do any additional work. So we're gonna wait here, uh, depending on how long the confirmation takes, I might fast forward through this part, uh, but we'll see. I really don't like shilling the podcast, but it's become kind of a requirement, so I might as well throw it in here while we wait. Uh, you should, we, we, we'd love for you to subscribe, review, listen to the podcast, you know, our videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, everything, you know, all, all the feedback we get, we appreciate, we appreciate all you freaks. That's why we do it. You know, it makes us really happy when people say they found these things helpful to us, to them. So just keep that in mind. We love you guys. And we're live. They are prompting me to back up again, which is very responsible of them. But I don't want you to see my cloud login, so we're not going to do that. So that was us waiting for the Bitcoin confirmation. Um, but now we're good to go and we are onboarded onto Lightning. So I am going to pull up. At TFTC, we like to get our hands dirty. So we set up this nice test for, for you guys called, we call it the dime bag, tftc.io slash dime dash bag, which allows you to test out microtransactions. Uh, Marty has a great newsletter called The Bent. It's a daily newsletter on all things Bitcoin. And at the end of his bent, he usually has a final thought, which is just a random thought that's in his head. For 10 cents, you can pay for a random thought on the site. It's a great way to test out microtransactions on lightning so it's pretty simple we go to invoice we click pay we allow them to take pictures and we scan the QR code with breeze you're requested to pay 1046 sats paid to tails from the crypt we click approve it's now processing our payment
as you can see it is good to go lightning fast Passion Pit had a qual run there in 2009 to 2010. Pretty short run, Marty. Pretty short run. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, that's sending a lightning payment. Let's go to receiving a lightning payment. Screw that. Let me just hold it for you. We're going to go create, description, subfreaks. We'll go 21,000 sats. Create. Now, who's ever paying, you can scan this scan this QR code. You could take a screenshot for them, or we can copy, we can just copy the, the invoice. And now I'm going to go to another Lightning wallet to test out the send. In this case, I'm going to use Sats app, which is Casa's uh, wallet app that connects to their own full node. Uh, we're testing out the Casa node right now. That's going to be for another video. But this is connected through Tor back to the node that I have located somewhere else uh, that allows you to, to send Bitcoin through through that full node. We're going to go enter payment code. We're going to paste this invoice. Review send. It's checking the invoice. Subfreaks, 21,000 sats. We're going to swipe up to confirm. Now it's connecting back to it through Tor to send the payment request. Of course, you can use any Lightning wallet if you want to pay Breeze, your Breeze wallet. Keep in mind that this process here is because it is connecting through Tor back, back to the node that I have located somewhere else. Uh, so it's it's got a little bit of a delay, but that's not the Lightning Network. That's actually Casa's uh, setup there. Perfect. Bang, bang. You go back to Breeze, Subfreaks, paid 21000 So that's it. All of a sudden, within 15 minutes, you're onboarded onto Lightning. You can send and receive payments in a non-custodial fashion through Lightning with very low fees. The future's here, freaks. The future's here. Anyway, stay humble, stack sats, subscribe to the pod. We love you guys.